Hey everyone, Mike from VideoMaker here. Hey, I'm sure you've heard of the Magic Lantern firmware for Canon DSLRs. Uh, we were really excited to hear that it adds the ability to record uncompressed raw footage uh, on a DSLR, so we decided to give it a shot. And as a result, we found out that not only does it have that feature, it has a bunch of other features that are just as cool or maybe even better than that. So here you go, the top five coolest features of the Magic Lantern firmware. Okay, so the big feature obviously is the ability to record uncompressed raw footage to your Canon DSLR. Now there are some drawbacks to this. Um, one that we found is that uh, even though we had a pretty fast compact flash card, we get, did get some frame drops when recording at 1080p. So we had to drop it down to 720p in order to get full frame video. But again, that's just our test. Some uh, users have recorded that they've been able to get the full 1080p footage uh, recording fine, so uh, maybe we're just unlucky. The big advantage is you can basically capture an extra two stops of dynamic range. So what that means is when you record your footage at f2.5, add two stops on top of that, and that's what you'll end up getting once you see it in your computer. If ultimate picture quality is your goal, it's worth the, uh, worth the time and effort to set it up in order to do that. Now, one thing we'll, we will mention as well is that the uh, uncompressed raw recording is only in the nightly build, not in the alpha build. So it's really use at your own risk. Now, obviously, any third-party firmware you install in your camera is going to be use at your own risk, but this is sort of uh, extra use at your own risk, since normally alpha is already kind of risky and this is the nightly build. They just sort of put it up and, and uh, hope that people will test it out and see what happens. So uh, take that into consideration. So a couple other really good features that, that you can only get in the nightly build is the intervalometer, so you can do time-lapse shots. Uh, but also the ability to manually adjust your uh, frame rate beyond what the standard is in movie mode. So, for example, we turned ours down to uh, three frames per second, which is completely impossible otherwise. Uh, we took some footage you can take a look at here. Now for a few features that appear in the alpha build, uh, probably the most important being the ability to properly monitor your exposure uh, using tools like zebras, spot metering, and waveform monitors. Um, it's really difficult on a DSLR to see when you're over or underexposed normally without the use of external monitoring tools. Um, so the fact that they threw this in with uh, the firmware is really, really handy. Being able to switch on zebras to see when you're overexposed. Uh, or put a spot meter on a point to see if you're under or overexposed and exactly what the IRE value is, is extremely handy and it's a tool that we've uh, come to rely on. Another feature we really love, which is more of a luxury than anything, is just how the uh, Magic Lantern firmware changes the way the audio meter looks. So normally it's kind of on top of your image, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Uh, Magic Lantern takes that and moves it into part of the letterboxed areas, the black part, makes it really big, bright, easy to see, so it's really clear as day when you're about to clip your audio. Finally, the last really cool feature about Magic Lantern, which isn't the sexiest feature out of everything that it offers, but is really cool for uh, people like us at VideoMaker, is the ability to save all the metadata from all your shots into a log file. So every time you hit record, it saves that information about that shot, you know, what the f-stop is, what the shutter speed is, all that kind of stuff into a log file. Just change that to a CSV and it open up into Excel or Google Drive or something like that, and there it is all in front of you. Again, not a feature for everyone, but uh, nerds like us here at VideoMaker really get a kick out of that kind of stuff. So there you have it, uh, the five coolest features in Magic Lantern uh, firmware for Canon DSLRs. If you're interested in trying it out yourself, we've provided a link for you, but uh, we will mention that it will probably void your warranty if you install it, so do so at your own risk. We're not going to take any responsibility if you break your camera in the process, so be careful, be safe, try it out if you want to, or try it out on an old camera you don't care about or something like that. Uh, but uh, if you try it, uh, let us know in the comments how it worked out, and uh, good luck. Uh, Mike from Video Maker. We'll see you next time.